somewhere in France, March 20th, 1918. Dear folks, it has been some time since I've written to you or to anyone at home for the simple reason that the ban was put out on all outgoing mail as we were up at the front. Our first trip up was made in periodic journeys starting from our winter camp. We hiked with complete packs to an end train station and were there placed in a freight car, 40 men in each. We traveled for two days and a night, then disembarked, hiking six or seven miles, where we stayed overnight, hiked some more, and we were then in a position of reserve. Uphill, 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 until we came to second line position, all this hiking being done at night for concealment. And here we waited for five more days underground, 45 or 50 feet, in darkness except for candles most of the time. We moved out for the first line in pitch darkness. It had snowed several times just before, and the mud was up to your knees all the way. The journey over no man's land was started, and Fritz started his shrapnel, which burst all around, but we dragged off into shell holes and he soon stopped. I will never forget that trip. There's no use talking. You couldn't see your hands before your face. The route was over a former forest, which had been shot down and the roots were buried in the mud. The rifles were soon plastered with mud so that you could hardly distinguish them from walking sticks, for which many fellows used them. If I fell down once, I did a hundred times. It was no joke getting up with that pack on. The actual duties on the line are not so much except watch, watch, watch. This vigilance is punctuated every so often by the whine of a sniper's bullet going past your head and the whistling of a shrapnel as it came over. If you could see the fuse, there was nothing to do but duck and listen to pieces hit around in the trees about you. In due time, we were relieved, and we hiked back to a camp about 12 miles from where we were in the line. We had had packs on our backs and our boots on and nothing to eat for 30 hours previous. Great stuff. It will seem good to have a complete rest for military duties, as they're getting to be quite monotonous by now. But believe me, this is the side to be on. Lots of love, Edgar.